Hello friends and welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Maureen and let's get started by singing our hello song. When we sing hello, we will salute and when we sing friends, we'll take our two fingers and have them give each other a hug. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Good job! Today we are talking about summer because it is officially summer. Summer is a time for outside play. It's a time for beach days and camping trips, cookouts, ball games, sprinklers, family vacations, sticky popsicles and drippy ice cream cones. It's a time for friends and fun, fun, fun. We love summertime. What is your favorite activity to do in summer? Hmm, it's hard. There are so many great things to do in the summer. Let's talk about the word summer. What letter does summer start with? Summer. Yes. Summer starts with the letter S. S is for summer. S. S. U. M. M. E. R. Summer, 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 summer. Good job. Let's practice writing the letter S. You can practice using your finger or if you have a pencil or a pen or a marker, you can practice using that. S is a little bit tricky. There are no straight lines, it's all curves kind of looks like a snake curled up on the ground. Curve one way and then come around and curve the other, like a slithering snake. S. Curve one way and then the other. S. For summer. job, friends. Let's learn how to sign the word summer using American Sign Language. You'll start with your finger making the number one. So just one finger pointing up. We're going to drag it across our forehead and as we do, we're going to change our number one to the letter X. Summer. 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 Good job! Before we go into our first book about summer, let's sing our alphabet together. You can pat along at home, you can sing along with me, or you can sign along with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Good job! Our first book is called It's Summer by Linda Glazer. 
let's read the inside flap to see what this book is about. It's summer and everything is growing. The flowers, the grass, the weeds. Ants are scurrying, caterpillars are inching along. Butterflies flit about and bright green leaves fill the trees. Linda Glazer has captured the delights and beauty of the summer season. Ooh. So it looks like we'll get a whole overview of all the joys of summer in this book. It's summer. It's summer. I flop down in the grass and watch clouds float by. They glide and swirl across the sky. Dragonflies zip here and there. Butterflies flit around in the warm summer air. I watch ants scurry to a small ant hill. I find a spider in its web sitting very still. A caterpillar inches along a leaf. And here's a little ladybug landed right on me. A baby robin flaps its wings and flies a short way. Its mother still feeds it, but soon it will learn to feed itself, then it will fly away. It's summer. We make little mud houses and tiny trees out of dirt and water and sticks and leaves. Cool mud sucks at our toes in such a squishy way. It's so warm and sunny, we could play outside all day. Some days we get all hot and sweaty. Some days we go to the beach or the pool. We pull on our swimsuits and smear on sunscreen. Then we splash around and get nice and cool. We pack plenty of summer fruits to eat. Peaches, melons, cherries, berries, all so juicy and sweet. It's summer. I water the garden. Tomatoes, cucumbers, beans, peas, morning glories, marigolds, dahlias, daisies. And look, soon these sunflowers will be as tall as me. Honeybees hum, carrying yellow pollen from blossom to blossom. There's an itchy, whiny, buzzing sound. I swish my arms and slap around every which way, but ouch, that mosquito gets me anyway. One day, the sky turns dark and cloudy. Wind whips and whistles through the trees. Boom, boom, boom. Thunder crashes, lightning flashes. We dash inside. Splish, splish, splash. It's a thunderstorm. After the rain, the air smells fresh and clean. We float leaves and twigs down tiny streams. And look way up high. A rainbow curves across the sky. It's summer. After dinner, it's still so light. It doesn't even look like night. As it grows dark, the bats come out. They zip and dart and swoop about. In the black of night, we spot tiny winks of yellow light. Fireflies, fireflies, blinking here and there, like sparks of magic in the air. I catch one in a jar and watch it glow, then lift off the lid and let it go. One day a yellow leaf floats down and there's another falling to the ground. A sudden crispness stirs the air. Soon, very soon, fall will be here. But right now, it's still summer. 
Everything's growing. The birds, the bugs, the animals, the trees, the fruits, the flowers, the grass, the weeds. And look, now my sunflowers are way taller than me. We run around and explore and play. Hooray, it's summer. Hooray. The end. And in the back here, there is a list of some nature activities to do when it's summer. So if you want to check this book out at the library, you can get some cool ideas of fun summer activities to do. Summer officially starts on the summer solstice. That's the longest day of the whole year, which means that it's the day that the sun is visible in the sky for the longest amount of time. And this year, the summer solstice started on the 20th of June. So it is officially summer now. And even though the sun is going to start staying in the sky for littler and littler amounts, now that the solstice has happened, we still get lots of sun in the summer. The summer is all about sunshine. But there are still days, even in the summertime, when the sun doesn't really feel like shining. We still have thunderstorms and rain days, which is really good. We want that water. And we still have some cloudy days. And those are natural and those are great. But sometimes we just want that sun. So let's sing a little song to help coax the sun out on those cloudy days. It's called Mr. Sun. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Good job, friends. I love that song. Maybe next time there's a cloudy day, you can try singing it. See if the sun will hear you. But when the sun does come out, it can get really hot. That's why we love our beach days and our sprinklers and our pools if we have one. And it's why one of my favorite summer treats is ice cream. It's so cold and refreshing and it tastes delicious. But I have a problem. I like ice cream so much that I can't pick just one flavor to eat. There are so many. We have ice cream, the best in town. Let us begin with chocolate brown. Mm -mm -mm. Now let us scoop some bubble gum pink. It's sweet and yummy. The best, some think. Here's some ice cream. Minty and green. Mmm, it's the creamiest I've ever seen. Yellow ice cream is lemony and tart. Mmm, we like its taste from the very start. Scoops of blueberry would make my day. Look at all this ice cream. Hip, hip, hooray. But there's more. Red ice cream is a strawberry delight. All these scoops are a heavenly 
these sites. Vanilla white is a popular flavor. Good and yummy for the ice cream craver. Hmm. Purple ice cream really gives me a kick. Good and yummy to the very last lick. Ice cream, ice cream, what a cool sensation. We love ice cream in any combination. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that gigantic ice cream cone. Do you think that I can eat all of that? especially on a hot summer day. Let's count how many different flavors we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight scoops of eight different flavors of ice cream. Oh man. I might need a little help eating this. Maybe while I eat it, you guys can help remind me what color each of the flavors are. So what's this first one? It's purple. What flavor do you think purple is? Hmm. Maybe grape? I don't know. It's interesting. Mmm, but it's tasty. Next we have white, a scoop of white vanilla ice cream. Mmm, mmm, so good. Vanilla is classic and delicious. Next is the color red, our strawberry ice cream, very bright strawberry ice cream. Mmm, that's so good. And we have some blue ice cream. Our blueberry, very main flavor. Mmm, mmm, I love blueberry everything. And what's the color of the next scoop? Yellow, a tart lemon. Refreshing. Next we have green. Mint. I love mint ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. So good. We're almost done. We're cruising through this ice cream. What color is this scoop? This was our bubblegum flavor. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Delightful. And one more flavor left. What color is this one? It's brown for our chocolate scoop. Yum. Love chocolate ice cream. Mmm. So good. I don't know about you guys, but I love to eat the cone. So I'm gonna go ahead and mm. well, that's gonna keep me cool and fill me up for a little bit. Another way that I love to keep cool in the summer is by taking a dip in some water, whether it's the pool or the beach or a sprinkler, anything I can do to cool off with some water. I love that in the summer. And this next book is about a little boy who's going to the pool and maybe gonna jump off the diving board for the first time. It's called Jabari Jumps. It's written by Gaia Cornwall. And let's see what this inside flap says about the book. Jabari is definitely ready to jump off of the diving board. He's finished his swimming lessons. He passed his swim test. It's just, maybe he should do some stretches first. Looks easy, says 
says Jabari, watching the other kids take their turns. But when his dad squeezes his hand, Jabari squeezes back. Hmm. Sounds like he might be a little nervous about the diving board. I wonder if he'll jump. Jabari jumps. Jabari jumps. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge, they spread their arms and bent their knees, and sprang up, 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 and then they dove down, 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 splash. Looks easy, Jabari said, but when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb, up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes, if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself, I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loves surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went. And then back up. Whoosh.
Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. The end. And he had so much fun doing it. Let's sing a song about getting ready to go to the pool. Because if I was going to the pool, I don't think I could go dressed like this. I mean, I could, but I'd probably be hot sitting out in the sun with my sweater on. And I don't really want to go swimming in my jeans. Hmm. So if I'm not going to wear my cardigan and my jeans, then what am I going to wear on my body at the pool? Oh, of course, my swimsuit. Let's put on our suits. If you're going to the pool, wear your suit. If you're going to the pool, wear your suit. If you're going to the pool, then a suit will keep you cool. If you're going to the pool, wear a suit. Hmm, perfect. I feel much better about wearing my bathing suit instead of my work clothes. But I still think I need to wear a couple extra things because I can't just go barefoot and I don't really feel like wearing my boots. I could, but I think my feet would get a little hot in them. What can I wear on my feet that won't make my feet hot? Hmm. And also won't get ruined by the pool water. Hmm. Oh, of course, some flip-flops. That's a great idea. Let's put on our flip-flops. If you're going to the pool, wear your flip-flops, flip-flop. If you're going to the pool, wear your flip-flops, flip-flop. If you're going to the pool, then flip-flops will keep you cool. If you're going to the pool, wear your flip-flops, flip-flop. Nice! We got our flip-flops on. We've got our bathing suit on. We're ready to go. But I'm a little worried about the sun beating down on my face all day. I don't want to get a sunburn on my face. And just in case the pool washes off on my sunscreen, I think that I want something else to help protect my face from the sun. Well, what could I wear that could help protect my face from the sunlight? Hmm. If you're going to the pool, wear your hat. Plop. If you're going to the pool, wear your hat. Plop. If you're going to the pool, then a hat will keep you cool. If you're going to the pool, wear a hat. Plop. Perfect. But this hat is going to do a great job at shielding my face from the sun. But I still kind of, it feels really bright even when I'm not looking up at the sky. So I think I need something else to kind of help shield my eyes a little more so that I can see easier and I don't have to squint. But I don't know what I could wear. Oh yeah, I can wear my sunglasses. Let's put on our sunglasses. If you're going to the pool, wear your sunglasses. Shum. If you're going to the pool, wear your sunglasses. Shum. If you're going to the pool, then sunglasses will keep you cool. If you're going to the pool, wear your sunglasses. Shum. Nice. I think we are all set. We've got our hat on our head to help protect our face. We've got our sunglasses on our eyes to help protect our eyes. We have our bathing suit 
something that is great for swimming in the water in. And we have our flip-flops, which are not going to be ruined at the pool, and they're gonna keep our feet cool. We are ready for a day at the pool. This next book is called Sunflower House by Eve Bunting. And let's see what the inside flap says this book is about. Sunflowers all in a circle make a sunflower fun flower house. A castle, a cage, a place to sleep out. But when summer is over and the enormous flowers fade and fall, the sunflower house is gone forever. Or is it? Hmm. Sunflower house. Sunflower house. First I pull out all the weeds, then I sow my sunflower seeds. It says to set them in a line, but dad says round and round is fine. I give them water every day and shoo the pesky birds away. Go eat the berries on the tree. These sunflower seeds belong to me. The package says they're guaranteed. A mammoth flower grows from each seed. My friend Bernice says, there's no way. You don't know everything, I say. Wait. The stems poke up, all ringed around, a pale green circle in the ground. They're growing tall, they're growing fast. Oh my gosh, sunflowers at last. All frilly yellow, big and bright. Mammoth is the word, all right. Their petals open wide and spread, a golden roof above my head. My friends come rushing down to see the sunflower house, hand grown by me. There's lots of room inside for three. Mom brings us cookies and iced tea. But mom and dad can't fit at all. They're much too big and wide and tall. All summer long, the house is ours. We play in it for hours and hours. It's a castle, it's a cage. We are jungle beasts that roar and rage. My friends sleep out with me one night, bundled up and snuggled tight. Moon shadows shiver on the ground. The sunflowers whisper all around. They whisper songs of heat and rain and things too secret to explain. I see the stars play peekaboo and wish a wish that can't come true. One day the leaves are tinged with brown. A flower comes tumbling, rumbling down. Next day, some more bend over, fall. Now it's not a house at all. We tie it up with string and sticks, but it's impossible to fix. It's gone, there's nothing we can do. Not even with the glues all glue. There's still the puffy middle part that's filled with seeds, enough to start another sunflower house next spring with walls, a roof, and everything. It's neat to think when something's gone, a part of it goes on and on. It's such a super duper plan. 
We pick out all the seeds we can. Our pockets bulge. The blue jays come. The sparrows, crows, they all take some. We still have lots and lots to share. Now be aware, prepare, take care. Next summer, they'll be everywhere. The end. Let's sing a song about gardens. We can start planting our gardens in the spring, but they really, really start to grow in the summer. So let's sing a little song about our garden. You can act it out using your hand. This is my garden. This is my garden. I rake it with care and some seeds I plant there. The sun will shine, the rain will fall, my plants will blossom and grow tall. This is my garden, I tend it with care, and some flowers, they grow there. Good job, friends. Thank you for singing that song with me. Let's go into our last book for the day. Our last book is called Summer Song by Kevin Hankies. Let's read the inside flap to get an idea of what this book is about. Summer is a song, a green song, green on green on green. Summer also sings with growing and glowing, chirping and buzzing whirring and humming, splashing and sprinkling, and a breeze blowing grass, leaves, and trees. Have you ever noticed that everything in the summer sounds like music? Listen, listen, but mostly play along. Summer Song Summer Song The summer sun is a giant flower and the flowers are like little suns little suns of all different colors But if I had to pick one color I'd say summer is green Green on green on green. Summer is a green song. A song of leaves and trees and weeds and grass. Lots of grass. If there is tall grass in a field and the wind blows, it sounds like music. So do the air conditioners, and the fans, and the sprinklers, and the lawnmowers. Most of the time, birds are part of the song, in the air of the sky. And sometimes rain and thunder are too. If you lie in the grass and you're quiet and patient and lucky, you might hear a bug song, whirring and buzzing and humming. Are there bees? Yes. Grasshoppers? Yes. Crickets? Yes. Dragonflies? Yes and silent butterflies, too. And at night, are there fireflies? Sometimes. There's one. 
and another one, and another one, and another one. They're singing to each other without a sound. When there is fog early in the morning, summer is a gray song. When you go to the beach or a lake, summer is a blue song. And when the sky is blue too. But the green song is still there. If you slow down and think about it, you can feel the summer song. It's warm, and then hot, and then hotter. In the shade, it can be cool. Or when you play with the hose. And when the days become shorter, and the nights come earlier, the song changes. Summer gets bored and wants to try something new, something different. The song is turning, turning, turning. It's turning into fall. The end. one last song about summer before wrapping up. For this one you can stand up if you'd like to or you can stay seated. It's called If It's Summer and You Know It. Let's start by putting on our sunscreen. If it's summer and you know it, put on your sunscreen. Rub, rub. If it's summer and you know it, put on your sunscreen. Rub, rub. If it's summer and you know it, and you really want to show it, if it's summer and you know it, put on your sunscreen. Rub, rub. Good job. What are some other things we can do in the summer? Hmm. Why don't we pick some strawberries? Strawberry picking is a great activity for the summer. There are strawberries everywhere. Just make sure that if they're not your strawberries, that you have permission to pick them. But these are all my strawberries, and we all have permission to pick them. So let's pick plop, some strawberries. If it's summer and you know it, pick some strawberries. Pick plop. If it's summer and you know it, pick some strawberries. Pick plop. If it's summer and you know it, and you really want to show it. If it's summer and you know it, pick some strawberries. Pick plop. Good. Why don't we jump in the pool? We got all dressed up earlier. Let's jump in the pool. If it's summer and you know it, jump in the pool. Splash. If it's summer and you know it, jump in the pool. Splash. If it's summer and you know it and you really want to show it. If it's summer and you know it, jump in the pool. Splash. Good job. How about, finally, we sing, if it's summer and you know it, shout hooray! Because I don't know about you, but I am so happy that it is finally summertime. If it's summer and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If it's summer and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If it's summer and you know it and you really want to show it, if it's summer and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Good job, friends. Well, that is it for story time today. We will be back in two weeks with another pre-recorded story time. But in the meantime, we have live story times on the lawn every week. We have our toddler times on Wednesdays at 9.30 and our pre-K times our family times on Thursdays at 11.30. Just remember to bring something to sit on, like a blanket, a chair, to dress for the weather, whatever that might be, and to bring something to snack on if you'd like. We also have our summer reading program that is happening right now. You can sign up either online on our Beanstack website
website, which I will put in the description, or you can come in to register in person. I suggest at least checking out Beanstack, just looking at the website. There are some extra activities on there for summer reading that aren't available in person. But either way, you get a prize for registering, you get a prize for completing, and everything you earn in the meantime gets you raffle tickets to win a book at the end of the summer. So there's no harm in registering. I highly recommend you check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to call us or to email me. I have a craft for us to do after this, but first let's sing our goodbye song. We're going to wave and we're going to clap. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends and wave goodbye like this. Bye friends, thank you. So today we have a simple but fun and cute craft. We're going to make our very own pretty silly popsicles. For this craft, you will need a piece of paper. It can be white or it can be any color that you like. And a popsicle stick. You'll also need anything you want to decorate your popsicle with. So I picked some different paper cutouts and some stickers and some markers. But you can use anything that you think of. And you'll need some glue, a pencil, and some scissors. So start by tracing your popsicle shape. You can make your popsicle any shape. I chose to go with the classic shape of kind of a really tall skinny hill or like a big tooth. So straight up, curve, straight back down. And you can use one of the straight sides of your paper as the bottom part. But you can make it anything. You can make a rectangle, a square, a triangle, a circle, something goofy, whatever you want to do. And go ahead and cut that out. Once it's cut out, you just need to decorate it. This is where you get to really just show off your creativity. Make it however you want. And if you have extra supplies, you can make a bunch. So feel free to experiment here. Once you are done decorating your popsicle, glue it to your popsicle stick. And now you have your very own pretty, silly popsicle. Thanks, friends. Have fun.